I almost killed my best friend. <laughs> That is not did, funny. Did you recover at from that fully? I'll tell you this, it made him a better businessman. <laughs> <laughs> I used to Knocked be five four, in. now I'm five five. <laughs> it was we were gonna put a mannequin in there and let the arms fly off and you know, <laughs> but farm. It said, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do a real dummy. He's yeah. the test dummy. Yeah. So we put the suit on, we put the helmet <laughs> right, on yeah. to be stupid, right? All of it was just a gimmick. And then man, when they lit that thing off, it <laughs> he changed. wished he had more safety <laughs> gear. <laughs> Man, we went back to 1985, let me tell you. <laughs> Special guests today, Asian and Farm Truck, thank you for being with us. Eat Sleep Race podcast live at PRI. Special guests today, Asian and Farm Truck, thank you for being with us. Appreciate with it. my co-host and partner, Hugo ESR. Why do you guys like PRI? You know what, PRI has been a much more condensed and niche event for us. It's been more about racing. Um, the, the consumer and the buyers that come here seem to meet, have their ears to the tracks a little bit better. Um, SEMA is a, a candy store, right? It's a little bit of everything, but it becomes very difficult to navigate and overwhelming for anybody that has ever gone to the, you know, SEMA before. They, they know what I'm saying. Um, PRI, it just seems like we get more done. We can shake more hands. We can say more thank yous and more apologies, if you know what I mean, too. We could give that definition for anyone who's not familiar with PRI and SEMA. PRI is a trade show specific to the racing industry, any type of racing. Yeah. Meanwhile, SEMA is for the automotive industry. So you have a little bit of car show, detailing, you name it. If it's related That's to right. auto, it's, it's just it's there. It's too everything. Big. It's, it's, over, it's, it's just giant. overwhelming. It's I think. Yeah, it's overwhelming. You know, the PRI show, uh, I call it the Disneyland for race enthusiasts. I know? like that. Uh, and it's three days of Disneyland. You know. Do you, do you know what? Our favorite part about PRI is what's that? We'll, we'll say it's the networking, and that's the reason why we know you guys. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, 2016 is where we met you randomly. You were walking the hallway. Yep. We had a booth in the hallway. We were like, hey, waved you down. Yep. And being as cool as you are, right on, anyone man. who has not met Asian yet, he is and very Farm personable. Truck, they are the most personable racers, TV it, personalities man. that you will meet down to earth. Appreciate it, man. But Thank you. In very front much. of the camera and behind the camera, they are the same. They are really yeah. cool people. And I just, the first way that we met you back in 2016, it's hard to believe, seven years now. Wow. You're, you're still as personable and well, the, same, you, the same character that we met thank you, bro. back then. So, yeah, come if you're in the automotive industry or racing industry and you haven't been to PRI, highly, highly recommend it. Just if you, you don't have any direct business, come here, walk the hallways, shake some hands because... It's all about networking, right? It really is. It's and it's about a, who you know. And, and it's also about apologizing because we make mistakes throughout the whole <laughs> year. And, and, you know, hey, sometimes you get too close to the fire, you know, and, and with being, you know, public personalities, uh, man, you sometimes got to come here and uh, apologize, you right? You ever get some action like that? Some people who watch the show are like, hey, I, I, got, a, I got a bone to pick with yeah, you. Yeah, every Do once you? in a while. Oh, every we get once call in a while. And yeah, all every that once stuff. in a while, you know. Uh, when they get that opportunity to catch the leprechaun at the end of the rainbow, you know, that they're, they're going to catch you. Um, yeah. But it never ends ends badly right it, it's always a positive ending to That's all good. those conversations i was gonna ask has it ever got to that awkward conversation of someone's just like adamant on well yeah it has yeah. Uh, and every once in a while and you know the Get guy the lives in like seattle washington he's like i'm calling you out come to washington right <laughs> okay we're, gonna, we're right. gonna drive all the way to washington for <laughs> yeah. one race yeah you right. know yep i think i think well with, just because you guys were almost the first I would say celebrities or personalities outside of actual, you know, sanctioned drag racing. Okay. Because everybody knows their favorite driver, but yep. you guys became a household name to millions of people mm. because they were able to watch you guys. Sure. And the way the, the show was, they, they mm. kind of, you guys, you guys are all from the same area, but you guys are all different and you yeah. guys all have different setups. So it's not like, oh, they, these are all a bunch of, it really seemed real and you guys obviously stood out is street outlaws real or is it scripted yeah it's real see the thing is that that <laughs> what what had happened is that a reality show television is introduced to a very large audience and not just the racing community like our show wasn't just shown to the racing demographic right. in fact it was the opposite the racing demographic didn't have time to watch our show right the racing uh, the the television audience was flicking on said hey there's this new show a bunch of guys are racing their cars let's check it out so the show really did introduce 
racing, street racing, drag racing to an audience that may have not been interested. Exposed to it before. Yeah, that's right. So it really did bring a new audience. Um, some liked it, some didn't. Um, with a little bit of luck sprinkled in, um, it got some traction. We'll go into, we're at the Eat Sleep Race podcast, right? So we got to talk about eating and some food. Oh. You've been to a lot of tracks across the U.S. Yep. Do you even know how many tracks, different tracks you've been to? Uh, no. No. We've, we've, we've lost, lost count. Dozens, though, right? probably, it's probably been a blur. A couple dozen. A couple, a couple dozen. dozen, yeah. Out of all these tracks you've been to, what track would you say has the best food? Oh, the best food. Oh, Man, that's a tough one. You. Oh, geez. That's a time. tough one. Yeah. And it's a tough one because all of the food vendors are different every time we go that's to right. that track. Yeah. I'm going to uh, cheat it But is there it something that you okay. look forward to? I'm going to cheat it. And the best food is always at Maple Grove Ooh. because our buddy goes in and cooks barbecue for us. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know a guy yeah, around yeah. Maple oh, yeah. Grove. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had track concession food like we do? Oh, man, it's really oh. rough. It's rough. You know Yeah, we saying? survive on that. Yeah. You know? I mean, we're on the road, you know, eight, ten months out of the year. And, uh, yeah, that's what we survive on. I just want rice, man. If, if there's a food vendor that's got rice, you will not hear me say a word. I can make anything happen. If you got some rice, I'll sprinkle whatever that's on That's rare, though, yeah. at oh, racetracks. Oh, you'll Very never rare. find yeah. it. One percent. One percent. Oh, when, yeah. we went Virgi- when we went to Virginia, yeah, Virginia, they had that Asian food. Oh, my God. Oh, so good. Ooh, I'd take a longer Dude, it was break. it like a restaurant. Mm-hmm. People, a lot of people are going to, they're not going to agree with me. My favorite track food and I might be biased here because this was my local track, or is still my local track, mm. Raceway Park, English Town Raceway Park. Okay. I like their burgers. Okay. A lot. Okay. Right on. Uh, did you like their burgers? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I did like the. <laughs> yeah. I did like the pizza though. Okay. I, 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 was, really I was fan of the pizza. Their burgers. Right on, man. Hey, it, it takes all, right? Like it. it each one their own, right? Hey, little plug there. All right. So <laughs> you're doing you're doing good out if, there. If you get you a have chance to have, to have a Raceway Park burger. Let me, let me know. Send me a DM what you thought. Might get a lot of frustrated comments on that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm, pre- I'm pretty picky, so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm probably not the best guy to ask for that. I think, like, the food is, is, uh, is, is often a, it's, it's all easy stuff, usually. So track owners out there listening. Cheeseburgers and chicken yeah, fingers man. and fries. Step and, up the and man, tra- I get it. Step, they're, they're step up the food margin, and, you know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, might get some different traction, dip, different people coming. If you get a track that has something else that, different than cheeseburgers, chicken and fingers and fries, it's... You, Got to give it a try. You, you kind of do, yeah. If they've got anything different, sometimes they have Cajun. And, and, and hey, sometimes oh. they don't even have sweet tea. Like, you go too far north, there's no sweet tea, right? Like, you gotta, no, we don't have, we have oh, iced yeah. tea like, up My north. backpack is full of sweet and low, yeah. right? Because <laughs> when we go too far north, dude, I don't know what happens. Yeah, you but don't get sweet tea no, way up north. That supply chain runs out. No, you don't. Yeah, definitely right? the tracks behind us. Sweet tea is not even on the menu. It's not. Yeah, yeah. No. So I bring we my have own. iced tea. Right? <laughs> yeah. So with you guys also traveling so much, what is... Our other side of it is eat, sleep. Yep. <laughs> well, do you have any, like, worst hotels you stayed at? Oh, worst hotels. So we stay pretty consistent. We, we, uh, we stay at Holiday Inns, right, so we know what we're going to get. But, man, we've had some real, some real hole in the walls, bro. What's, what's the worst one? I remember Lou told me a crazy man. story of one. It was like one Lou couldn't forget. Yeah. Uh, we've had some that we just left, right? Like, uh, <laughs> right? Like, That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just be like Joe's Joe's sleeping room, yeah. right? Like, it just be like a weird one. Like, but if yeah. the doors are facing out, second guess it, man. If, if you can see <laughs> the doors from the outside. Yeah, that is ah, true. I never I thought just, of that. I just want to check it. You know what I'm saying? So. That must have been a wild experience. Like, hey, we're checking into the room. Open the door. Yeah. We're not staying in yeah. here, guys. You yeah. know, when the bed bug dogs are in the in the <laughs> lobby, uh, just, just make sure you know what you're getting into. You know what I'm saying? We, we stayed in one one time where the door wouldn't latch. And it was like a motor in, you know, where you pull your car up to the door. Oh, and right. We had to get a chair and put it in front of the door. Wedge it. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah. it was cheap. You know, Asian loved it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, we saved a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get no sleep, but I saved a lot of money. Have, have, have you ever, or do you plan your trips based on, you know, when you you already know ahead of time what tracks you're going to go sure. to? Are you pre-booking your hotels or are you yes. winging it because you got so much oh, going no. on? We have, no, no, you have to pre-book. You have to. I mean, because. So how do you end up in Joe Schmo's motel or something well, like that? Might you be know, the only you, thing available. You go too far north and there's, you know, these tracks are in the middle of nowhere. Right, typically you go north, right? Okay. And there's nothing. So there's you know Ooh. two hotels, Ooh. right, within a 15 right. mile radius. Oh, and man. then if you go beyond that, you're, you it's kind of slim pickings, right? And so you kind of get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. 
And so the next available is Joe Schmoes, and you got to get some it. sleep, you know. Oh, so, um, but we try to position it where we're we're a little further out from the track. I like to drive in, I like to drive out, I like a little time to think before right. I get there. You, you, know you remember saying? that hotel in California that we stayed in, and they were remodeling it. Oh yeah. And they were doing the carpet. Oh and yeah. They had all these carpet scraps. It was like going through the fun house because yes. it was like two feet of carpet scraps all <laughs> yeah, yeah, cut yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have picked it up and thrown it in the dumpster, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we just lunged through it. Yeah, you know? dude. I thought you were going to go opposite with that. They took out their carpet because of some bed bug problems. Dude, it might have been. It might have been. We got yeah. in after, but yeah. but we stole some carpet. I got like a Red Bull machine out yeah. of the deal. Oh, wow. Right. But the worst part was, you know, like, oh, it's new. It's brand new. Everything's new. But then that jackhammer comes on at 6 a.m. <laughs> like, wake up call. Oh, yeah. yeah bro. Like, Don't worry. Got to get to the so, track anyway. It was too new. So, talking about all the different tracks you've been to, dozens of them, what's the best track that you've either raced at or you've been to? Well, hmm. I really love Beach Band in Kentucky. Never be- been to that one. How because come? they have a campground mm-hmm. right uh, there, mm-hmm. right? And they have an amusement park also mm-hmm. right on, there. On the property? Yep. Uh, yes, on the property. Oh, sure. right? So if I bought a spectator ticket, I could go to the amusement park? You could. You, yeah. You could, you could camp and bring a golf cart yeah. and drive over to the amusement park and park that your golf like cart facility. and walk yep. in. Or yeah. drive over to the track. Yep. Right. That yep. sounds like. Yeah, and it's a legit park, man. It's legit. They got rides. They got. They got everything. You know the uh, the gravitron that sticks you up. They yeah. got, oh wow. They got yeah. every. Oh, it's legit. Oh, it's legit. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like a year round carnival. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah. dude. It's awesome, man. They that got was a, a little that bit was of in everything. Kentucky. And you know yep. they they have like um, a tin roof over their bleachers to mm. shade you from the oh, sun. Oh, yeah. right? that's that's different. And I've then, never seen yeah, that. Yeah, and they have all these poles that m- kind of get in your way a little bit mm-hmm. when you're trying to watch the race. Mm-hmm. But they have these really old school seats mm. from the 1920s or 30s. Oh wow! Right? And uh, man, so the, the, the nostalgia then. Really, is there. Yeah. You know. Yeah, wow. they they have some some old some new. Um, and then there's Colorado, which, uh, you know, I don't know if they're going to make another year out of it or not, but that Colorado track is just beautiful. Bandemir. Bandemir. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, dude, yeah it's, that's a it's good one. gorgeous. I heard they're going to build a new facility. I, so I hope they do. I hope they I do. I really do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you go there, and, uh, you know, CBD's been legal for a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. Like, so, you know, rather, you know, sometimes fans will give us, you know, uh, some gifts and stuff like that, but you'll leave there. You'll leave there Welcome with some. Colorado, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Rocky Mountain High. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Literally. And that air is a whole lot different. Right. They're not even kidding because it's got the elevation. It is. The elevation yeah, track. it takes them getting used to. But. Here's one thing that a gripe about a spectator going to Bandemir. Uh, that hike that you got to take up. Oh, cause exhausting. To go down to yes. spectate. You got to hike down to the bleachers. Yes, you do. Yeah. Man, if you if you want to get a concession or something. Bring your cardio. It's yeah, a trip. Right. Yeah. Get Whenever you go to, to Bandemir, bring t- that. Turn on your Apple Watch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Working out, whatever. If you had your sweet tea or your lemonade oh my up God. there, you're burning it off on the way no down. No joke. Yeah. It will. It'll take the air out of you. Yeah, it's like jet lag. Talking about favorite track to race in do you have a favorite state to race in i i've have a feeling sure. that you have sure. a good answer to this one sure um a man favorite favorite state to race in um it's going to be oklahoma right because of our break i'm right there you know i mean Bi- biased bi- a, yeah, bit? a lot well, right like you know you're close to your shop yep, you know it's, yep. it's easier to race yep at your local track yep it is. It really is. And then elevation, we're already tuned for it, right? Mm. So, hey, the closer to Oklahoma, uh, the the more, uh, the easier it is to get stuff done, the less you have to do. But there's a lot of great tracks all over there the are. country, oh, yeah. and each one of them has their own appeal. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, but just racing in general, man, I, I, I like to support local, you know, and, and being in Oklahoma, there's no nothing better than, than sleeping in your own bed and then going racing the next morning, you know An what amazing I'm saying? community out there, huh? Imports, domestics, yeah. just a lot. A little bit of everything. Yeah. You got a melting pot. You know, we're missing a few pieces, but we're picking it up. You know what I'm saying? I, l- I like how you guys put Oklahoma on the map, representing the 405. You guys built a very, very strong community. Appreciate that, man. You know, we had the thunder. We got that. You know, we needed the racing community to jump on, and hopefully it's, you know, just com- just getting stronger. You know, we ain't got no ocean. We ain't got no beach. So. <laughs> so we mentioned this off camera that every so often you guys have call outs. People come up to you. Obviously, mm. they see you on TV. I, I want to race. I want to race those guys one day. Yeah. Have you ever taking somebody up on a call out before like has it happened that someone came up to you and like i want to race you and you're like okay sure yeah, yeah. we have yeah. We have. yeah yeah we've sometimes taken it out right here right, right? It, it happened in tucson yep 
right? Whenever yeah, we did it, we did a little event, and that was last year. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we went yeah. to the track there in Tucson. Yeah, and uh, the winner of the daily driver race was that. That's I right. think it was the daily right. driver race. Yeah, he called out the farm truck, and so that wasn't scripted. That was no. hell. We we've, we've unhitched our diesel truck and raced people on the highway. Right. Oh we're yeah. We're ready. Like right? you want us to call your bluff, we will. Right. And if you don't want to race with your cars, you get your laces tied. I'll race you down this hallway. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's exactly don't, right. don't call our bluff. Right. Because I'm ready to lose or win. Right. One, one right year, after. one year we left the PRI show and, you know, we're on the 70 heading west and a Mustang rolled up on us and we've got our diesel truck and we're pulling the dung beetle. Right. Uh, and we raced. Well, the guy outruns us. We're pulling a trailer. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so I'm like, hey. Get off the highway right up here at the next exit, and we'll run them for a oh, hundred. Roll down your window on them. Let, yeah. let us let us unhitch the trailer. He, he said okay. So we pulled into this truck stop. We left the dung beetle on a trailer sitting at the truck stop. No cameras around. Went no, down the street. None. No, this yes. is just what we do. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Went down the street. Took a hundred bucks off yeah, the guy, yeah. hitched the dung beetle yeah. back up, and went home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. that's Heck, amazing. It just happened in Texas. You know, we had our we had our golf cart out there and got called out, and uh, and we raced the Race golf, golf cart on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No cameras. Yep. So I don't know when this comes out, and they know you guys are the real deal here. You might be getting a whole lot more smoke now. They won't. They won't do it. They won't do I, it. I Let remember, me tell you. I remember uh, this was maybe two years ago. It was actually a thing going on with one of our friends back home, yep. Farrell from High Boost, because yes. he has the all-wheel drive yes, car. Yes, that's right. That's right. And you had the Jeep at the time. That's right. And that's you know right. there was there was a little talk about that. That's I right. said, man, we got to set that up. We still need to do that. We still we, we can still make that happen. Yeah, right on. So that's well, gonna be a good one. He he kept breaking. Yes. He kept breaking right, and and I, that's car stuff, you know. And at the time, he was putting together an all-wheel drive Honda, which was a little new yep. right at the time, and guys didn't know quite how to do it. Now that I think they got it figured out. Yeah. Um, and now it's, he's probably way more dangerous, right? And I, I probably would question how well I would do. Um, but we would have to. We, we would. We would make it. Make it fair. What, how, however it has to be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Maybe a car or two. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is. And a lot of times, man, we we feel out those who call us out. You know, are they just looking for? There's some a, legitimate calls. Right. And then there's, there's some, some legitimate. BS. But, but it's just internet. Ninety-nine percent of the time, they're just trying to bluff. Yeah. They just want to do the call out thing, and they don't actually want to race, right? And most people are like, all right, grab a lane in the 405, and then they're like, yeah, ha, ha, whatever. I'm like, all right, we live there. That's you know, what it is. Like, Come by. We're <laughs> not hard to find. You know, we how went, do you guys we, deal with that? With, with we a went lot of the trolls. Right. And there were a lot of call outs there. A lot of Internet call outs. Yeah. And a lot of call outs whenever we got oh, to the track. True, yeah. What were we saying? No, I was saying like, like, especially now, how do you guys deal with all these trolling and, and stuff like that? Do you oh, really it, pay it any it's mind? Air. Or it's this air. This is just what it is. It's, it's Internet. air, man. It's air. You got to take the good and the bad. And they both yeah. really, you know, when someone says you're the greatest in the world, it means as much as you're, you're the worst in the world. Yeah. Right. You really have to take those because if they don't know you. They're praising you or helping, you know, so you just have to say thank you. I appreciate that, whether it's good whether or Whether it's news. positive or That's negative. That's right. You said say thank you. Yeah, I, I think you have to have that. thick skin. Some Thanks people take it to heart. Me, right? So, no, don't take it to heart. Yeah. Has your, has your skin thickened through the years of, you know, yeah. being on camera? Yeah. Yeah, I went to that. I went to that. The, the first year of filming, you, you go through that, and I, I would go to a farm. I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm reading this internet, man, and it, it's just not making me feel good. And I would get addicted to that. I would get addicted to the reading. And then one day, I don't know what clicked or if I got some advice what, whatsoever, I just stopped. I just turned it off, right? And if you don't read it, it doesn't exist. It really doesn't, man. And so I don't read it anymore, period. I haven't read it in nine years. So I have a question. Sure. What's the internet again? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, there right. you go. That's, right. That's, right. That's how I get by, yeah. you know? So the best recommendation there for anyone who's dealing with those demons yeah. of negative the negative yeah. energy from yeah. the internet it's there. your best yeah. advice yeah. is to don't do it block it just don't, don't read block it, it out don't, don't read it keep don't doing go you. there keep doing it. and that's that's easier said than done when when it's such, such an addiction to be wanting to be fed with the good and because you want to be praised so you're going on there to hope they're saying good stuff and you get caught up in that bad right yeah. so so forget about the good you're already doing it you're doing more than anybody don't get caught up in it don't read it just know that you're moving forward one step after the other and, and keep moving forward. The, the thing is, is you get more of what you pay attention to. Yeah, you do. Yes. Right? You do. If you pay attention to that, you're yep. going to get more of it. You yep. attract the energy around you. That's right. You really do. That's right. Yeah. You really do, man. So pay attention to the positive. Yeah, and we you got get the more same of that. for the brand. Good vibes and fast cars because that's, that's, that's what we like. You got yeah. that negative energy? 
vamoose. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got Skidaddle. your friends. Love you've, that. you've earned I love your circle. That. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's it's hard though because especially in our business, we we firsthand have to post on social media. So yes. of course you get the alerts. Like, yes. Ah uh, man, do so I click so. the alert? I know yeah. you click on it, yeah. let it open up. Especially with doing these podcasts, it gets very controversial with these it does. topics. You it know? does. But what what works best for the internet? It's yeah. the algorithm. You got to work the algorithm. Yeah, you do. Still have to you play know, with I it. mean, it's like um, let's pretend, and I don't get this many comments. Let's pretend you, you you're Conor McGregor and you get five thousand comments on one post, right? Um, you're not gonna be able to read them all, right? So no, no. so so why would even mess with it if you can't read them all? Why are you reading it at all? Yeah. Right. So if 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 you read a thousand, well, you didn't read the other four thousand. They don't exist. So don't let it. Don't let any of it exist, right? Don't read any of it. I like Farm Truck's answer. What's yeah. the internet? Yeah, <laughs> right? He's What's doing internet? just fine, and he's never read a single comment, ever. Doesn't he's need never to. seen a I comment. I don't have the internet. That's right? not real. I don't have an real. email address. It's not real. I don't have, I have wrenches to turn. Yeah. That's what I have. You yeah. don't have an email address? No, no he doesn't. I don't. He doesn't. No. no, it's all me on that, on the internet side. Yeah. Asian gotta, spends a couple hours a day trying Lou, to answer emails. Lou, Lou helps. I, I get a lot done. Yeah, the farm gets a lot done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I hear yeah, you. He does. But speaking now, now, now the flip side of it is the internet does help in certain ways. No, you need it. And you guys have, throughout the years, made some pretty viral videos. Right on. What would yep. you say is your top viral oh, video? Your favorite viral Like your oh, favorite, favorite for you too. favorite? Yeah. Um... Man, we've done some stuff where we're just playing around, you know, uh, messing around the shop and stuff like that. The nitrous chair was was the one that that kind of <laughs> that's hit, on my list. It kind of hit the hardest. Yeah, right? that, I think that was um, hilarious. And uh, no. you know, it was an. <laughs> I almost killed my best friend. <laughs> that is not. Did, funny did you recover from that oh. fully? Man, you know, a lot of people we've never really fully talked about that, and we won't go too too deep into let's, it. Let's do it. Oh, no, you want to go? No, down? you know, it, I'll tell you this: it made him a better businessman. <laughs> <laughs> I used to not be five four. Sense, now I'm five five. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was a mistake, man. We were we were trying to, trying to fill some time for the show. We were building the farm bird for Mega Race, and Farm had pulled this office chair out of the dumpster and, yeah. and mocked up a couple <laughs> nitrous bottles. And we were so all so that was actually your idea for it was trip. Farms I'm and, sorry. and mad scientists, <laughs> right? And um, it was we were gonna put a mannequin in there and let the arms fly off, and you know, <laughs> but farm, it said, let's, yeah, yeah, let's do you a know, real dummy. When we got it together, <laughs> none of us were afraid to sit no. in it because we didn't think it was gonna be no. a big deal, right? No. You know, the mad scientist, uh, he's older than me, he's got five years on me, and uh, he said, I'll sit in it. And I said, I'll sit in it, and then Asian, yeah, in your mind, you're gonna said, sit no, in it, let well, me sit in it, yeah, and I'll we're like. Down. Okay, he's yeah. the test dummy. Yeah, and I was, I'm chicken, dude. Like, I, if I look at something, I'm like, mm, I'm good, right? But that looks safe. It looks safe, dude. Yeah, I'm it like, did. Oh, it, it wasn't right? that bad. Look comfortable, you know? right? Like, and so I sat in, I'm like, ooh, I'm good. And then we kept adding stuff. I was like, can I have a little strap? Can I put a, I thought the nitrous bottles might burn me. So we put the suit on. We put the helmet <laughs> right, on yeah. to be stupid, right? All of it was just a gimmick. And then, man, when they lit that thing off, it uh, He changed. wished he had more safety <laughs> gear. <laughs> Man, we went back to 1985, let me tell you. Damn, you know, dude. When I looked at this blurry blob after we pulled those strings and it went off and started spinning, I looked at, at a blurry blob. I didn't identify what I was looking at. <laughs> oh, it had man. to compute in my head because was what, one of those things what you were everybody in your saw head? What did I do? was a slowed yeah. down version. Oh, yeah. oh right? I didn't even think of that. Yeah. It was slowed down. Yeah. So he was spinning. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying what we watched yes. on. Yes. Yes. You saw the slow version. Yeah. What do you think? They t turned it down by 50%? I think, percent? Had to, I think oh, I know less than that, but that they had to. They had to make it a little less severe. They also added a scream. They added an audio <laughs> screen. If you really listen to it, there's a little. You didn't even have time to scream. No, dude, I I was eyes closed, clenching, dude, and and dude, it was it happened so fast. Um, all I could think is, okay, I don't know my position in the planet. Um, I hope it stops. <laughs> oh and then, man. And the farm truck, he didn't know if I was awake or not, right? And so he basically just kind of jumped in to stop me to make sure I was breathing. I, I thought I was gonna break his legs. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I knew that if I stepped in and you were gonna get right. hit, right? His legs on that angle, yeah. I would have snapped him. Yep. So um, I, I couldn't get at him quick enough. Yeah. Finally, I got in there and I stopped him, uh, and that scared the life out of me. Yeah. Um, scared the life out of but, me. What? And to hear him talk was such a relief, <laughs> you know. And um, I, what you saw is what you got. I wanted to apologize 
to him for even thinking of that idea. Yeah. And I said, how do I apologize to my best friend? And Asian, I don't know how he comes up I, with I these don't lines. Either. I don't either. He said, do you remember what you said? Uh, you got to find a new best friend. <laughs> but, but, but it was really just the words just came out. I was just so thankful that I was, I was sitting still. The right? like, truck was like this broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, so yeah, broke. Because yeah. yes, so there's a piece of him that might have thought I meant it because yeah. I was so. Uh, oh, then was, he made me laugh. Yeah, right. Because you know? then it was immediate. But, um, dude, afterward. Like it did a weird thing. I hit, so we did the math because you can measure the circumference of my legs of when it went out. Oh, yeah. You can measure the frame rate. Right. You can measure, so I, we calculated the G's and at the peak of the G's, I hit 21 G's, right? <laughs> top, top to my leg, right? That's so, crazy. So the next day. But only for a split second. Split yeah. second, right? Because right. it stopped me pretty quick. So NASA um, might send you an offer. Yeah, like, right. I hope not. That. I know, you're He's right. Like, he did that um, in his backyard. The, the next day. Um, the production called and they said, hey, are you all right? And I said, I don't know. And I, I woke up and I looked in the mirror and it broke all the blood vessels in the tops of my shoulders, my eyes, oh. my, the, my feet, right? Oh, and wow. I couldn't walk for like 36 hours. Broke right? the blood vessels. Yeah, it was so weird. I don't know how it did it. But the doctor, I was like, what is going on here? He goes, you broke all the blood vessels. He's like, what did you do? And I tried to explain it to him. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. He, <laughs> you know, so they said if I would have sat in that chair maybe uh, two more seconds, I probably would have had an aneurysm, right? Because it would have oh, blood clotted me, right? So there was definitely, I came out unscathed, unscathed miraculously, but it could have went very badly. Yeah. But that little stunt, that's when Asian became the fastest street outlaw yeah, yeah. in the history. Literally. Yes. Like I said, NASA might say yeah, that. Uh, they, uh, they might, they might need some testing. If you on your page and make it a big thing, I can withstand 21 Gs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign this guy up. Deal. We got a program. Deal. He needs yeah. to Deal. run through. Yeah, no, I was a one hair to quitter, man. That's, oh, man. that's crazy. I didn't, I, didn't even know I didn't even know yet. Blood behind vessels it. could be repaired. Yeah. 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 And I'm glad people enjoyed it, you know, as a part, because it was a part. It was of worth it. It, it was kind of worth it. It was worth it. So you mentioned um, you mentioned the farm bird. So you clearly have done a lot of unique builds. One, what is your favorite? And second, is there a dream build that you haven't achieved yet? Well, um, could be a rocket ship. My, you know, yeah, my favorite. NASA's on the, yeah, on the, on the my the favorite's menu. the farm truck. You know, it, it's like you talk to uh, musicians. You know, they have their whole life to write their first album. And then they have two months to write their second one, you know. Uh, so nostalgic. I, I yeah. took my time, you know, uh, building the farm truck, and I was able to do it my way. Um, I went against all the other street outlaws that had advice for me about what to do and how to build it because I wanted to do it my way. Uh, I wanted to build a sleeper, you know. That's what I was all about. Um, and it, it turned out, you know, it people like it. You know, people like the farm truck. Um, and a lot of people don't understand the farm truck. No. Um, but each build has its own quality, you know. Uh, the farm boat, I was able to take my time and detail that thing out because I wanted it to look exactly like the farm truck and on it does. water. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I'd have to say that my favorite is the prison bus because I get to share it with people. And what we do is, is we put Christmas lights on it um, and we give all of our friends a ride. I, I'm, I'm going to make about six trips this year, whenever we, next week, whenever we get home. We have the bus all covered in lights. Nice. We have uh, Frosty the Snowman on the back. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, we get to share it with people and ride around and have a good time. And I don't know Whoa. if people realize this. You actually drive that bus to the events like, oh, yeah. across state. How many miles have you put on that bus? Well, we put about 20,000 on it last year. Oh, wow. So, and then yeah. the year before, probably about 16 to 18,000. Yeah. So. And it's you driving it, just so people know. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, no cruise control, no radio, right? Like, the, it, when it rains outside, it rains inside. That's right. right. Got a couple it's holes like in it. It's like Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> no boat. No, car, no heater, no, motor, no air conditioning, right? Not a single right? luxury. So, do, you, do you ride in there with them, too? <laughs> no. I, I drive no, a minivan. What kind of best friend no, are you? No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm a, a he won't do it. Long term, long term. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a cool build, man. We were talking about wearing the headphones earlier. Do, do you do you drive with some earmuffs on? Because that thing's no. Yeah, <laughs> keep it raw. You know, when you drive your race car, you want to listen to what's going on. You know. Same thing with the uh, bus. Same thing with that. You know, because you know, there's failures. You yeah. know, we built it. 
You know, it's not 100% all the time. Have you ever gotten any bad roadside stories with the with the bus? Um, oh, it's ever. broken on us. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, you have to remember we built it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. We've we, yeah we've had issues here and there. But what's the worst memory that you have with that bus? Oh man, we've 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 oiled down the track pretty good, right? Like that's, we'll, yeah, that, yeah. That's a that's huge the worst. Oh I my god. That didn't upset you as much as it did the other racers who were waiting that for is, the track. That, that is correct. totally did. That is and correct. I'm still beating myself up over that. Yeah, we've done that a couple of times. It it antifreeze the track. Yes, uh, in in, in Dallas, to clean up. Yeah. in Ennis, yeah. right? Uh, and then we oiled down the track in Vegas. Yeah, and it was just a freak deal, you know. The AN fitting, the Popped hose off. came off of it, you know. Yeah, and I didn't that we were racing into a headwind. I didn't smell anything. I thought we were good. Mm -hmm. You know, even though we spun off the line, you know, and there was a lot of smoke going on back there, but I didn't smell it until we got all the way, all down, the way down to the yeah. end oh, of the track. It's already too late. Right? Oh. And then I smelt it. I stopped, right? Um, anyway, that was... Uh, it's embarrassing. It was right? very embarrassing. And all we were doing was trying to be farm truck and Asian and put on a show for the crowd. And now we did it. And you guys <laughs> are the only, like pair of the oh, like personalities team? Like, like a team, team. Yeah. yeah yeah everybody kind of like teamed up at the end but you guys they tried. you guys were you yeah. guys always started well, out asian suit? farm truck i think so. it's important to follow suit like that i think it's important to have someone have your back right yeah. like i think it was really important that you know you got to have a union like even as a group we're the street outlaw group right we're, we're together but individually you got to have somebody a uh, checks and balances right mm -hmm. there's you too right like you if you don't have a brother you find a brother right like you got to have someone that's willing to be in the ditches with you no matter what you got to pick a side yeah. right and if you're out there just lone wolfing it man who are you bouncing it's information tough. off? It's, the, it's definitely the, tough. You're either on the same team or your competition. I think yeah. that's just life in general, right? It is. Yeah. It is life that's in right. general. That's but it's it. always, it, I, I always found that to be like very cool because, like I said, everybody was kind of just out for themselves. Yeah. And when it came to you two, it was always you two. It's yeah, Asian man. Farm Truck. Let's, it let's was nothing separate. Let's go deeper into yeah. that for those who aren't familiar. You guys clearly are best friends at this point, brothers from another mother. Yeah. How did this relationship start between you guys? Uh, we, we pretty much on Route 66, we were all kind of street racing, right? What year was this? Yeah. This is probably 2001, yeah. 2000, 2001. Yeah. Well over 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, we, we basically got in a street race, and I was still um, young and up and coming, and he was building that truck. And um, he, At that time, you didn't know of each other yet? Not yet, and he was kind of new. He was new. We were all kind of new. I may, may have been racing a little bit for maybe a year, and he had just gotten this truck, and he had done some racing in the past, but not with that truck. He just got that truck, and he was making noise, right? Like, he was beating up on everybody, and they are like, there's this orange truck cruising around, beating everybody. And I had this car club at the time, the shifters, and we all went out, and he beat us all but me, and I was like the <laughs> leader, and I went out, and he smacked me around, but he wasn't a jerk, right? Like, he wasn't like this... This, uh, this guy that was like, yeah, better luck next time, kid. <laughs> right, like he popped his hood and showed me what he did to the truck and how he made it fast. And then he looked at my car and said, well, you know, you can make these improvements. He says, why don't you come by tomorrow? We'll redo this fuel line here. We'll put a regulator on it. I think you got a fuel issue. He helped me fix it, installed nitrous, got me some tires, right? So he really set me right in terms of the right direction to go. And then he kind of became my mentor. That's awesome. pretty cool. And then after that, you're like, now that I know what your car is doing, I'm not racing you yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of <laughs> well, went like that. A, a little bit of an understory. You know, I had heard through the grapevine that Asian had lost both his parents. Um, and he took a shine into me. Uh, we started hanging out. Uh, you know, we kept cracking jokes. And uh, we've been laughing together for over 20 years. Yeah, and, yeah it just worked. You know, I wasn't even aware of that. So yeah, yeah. Condolences. Yeah, I appreciate and that. And more importantly, so you become... Not only best friend, brother mentor. from another, yeah. mentor, yeah. Yep. Father, father figure. Father figure, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, think, amazing. I think you need that. I think you need that. If you didn't receive that enough of that at a young age, you're going you're gonna to reach for that, right, from anybody. You're going to look yeah. for that mentorship, right? Um, and so it, sh it just worked out. It could have it gone bad. It could have taken advantage of the situation and just been, you know, a thief. But, it, you know, it just turned out that two people were, were trying to have a good time in this world. We were both into cars. And, uh, yeah, he's just, he's just my mentor. We, we brought that up earlier about positive energy, you know, mm -hmm. connecting energies together. And yep. it was just two good people. That's it. And Found each other. That's awesome. That's that's he dope. still don't listen, though. No. What, what did he say? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm the one that don't listen. Just, just the proper that's father right. figure I'm right the one. there. I'm the one. You ever have to just give him that light little tap around? Come on. <laughs> yeah, we both have our inputs now, you know. So. Do you guys, do you guys uh, we're going to start wrapping it up, but it's all good, do man. you guys have any 
secret surprises that that's, that's coming up that you guys could leak a little bit or you, you know, know what man I, we want to do more us you okay. know i mean after 10 years of doing this i think a lot of people forget that this has been on for 10 years and time has flown right yeah. and uh we've done a lot of things for a lot of people uh, for for good reasons and uh, it's been very mutual nobody owes us anything and we don't owe anybody anything right and i think it's important now that we're mature enough and we have a general understanding of how this industry and how this culture works to be able to contribute a little bit more authentically uh, in our own way, in our own branding. Um, and so not only in the form of building a business, but uh, building our own version of a culture yeah. and then just having a good time and whatever that means. So it's safe to say that we're still going to see a lot of Oh, yeah, man. I, I, the thing with television, man, is the shows may go away. They may stay. But at the end of it, no one got canceled. We're not actors, so we didn't get out. We're not out of a job. That's true. Right? We just keep going forward. It's just presenting yourselves possibly on a different platform yeah, in a different right. manner. To a different demographic. Now, right. we, we don't know what the future is, you know. Yeah. Uh, the we're we're open-minded. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we know that we want to do car stuff, yep. you know. For as long as you can. Uh, yeah, that's you right. know, Maybe street outlaws, we don't know. Yeah. Uh, you know, that could go on forever. And yep. we, we would do it. So. Awesome. We actually, um, we brought up different moments. One of them was oiling down. No, the sure. track with the with the bus. Mm. Do you have a most memorable moment? That was kind of a bad moment, but do you have one outside of that that would you would say is your most memorable moment racing? Oh, oh you know what? For me, it was um, uh, it, it getting my Nova back. Right, my first car, my legitimate first car. Right, like Farm Truck had, had done his best to find it using the VIN on an old insurance uh, form. Oh wow! Um, and the, getting that car back in some. Again, that's that's another bag of worms and a, and a whole new podcast. But uh, in that situation, it completely changed my life and wiped away any type of ego I ever had. It was a, it was a weird uh, spiritual type of uh, situation for me, and uh, it really awoken me to uh, to a lot more empathy, a lot more understanding that there's people in this world that can care for you that don't even know you, and uh, and it's possible to do that for others. So the moment most life changing for me was getting my car back. And I know people are like, yeah, that's a cool car. It has nothing to do with the car. Um, it has everything to do with the fact that people gave to gave and sacrificed their careers, their time, and their money to give something back to somebody they never knew. Um, so that moment for me was getting my car back. Uh, there was a organization church boys racing they saw the episode of asian and i crying together when he got his first car back and what they do is chevy twos chevy two novas they drove from ohio got his car and remodeled the thing turned it into a sema built right uh didn't want a dime uh called me i got involved uh we built a better motor for it um and uh, those guys just gave to give. Uh, they wanted to be a part of whatever they saw on the show. Uh, you know, whenever I found the car and got it back to Asian. And um, yeah, man, it, it's all about giving just and helping the other guy yeah, out. It's really paying forward. That's it. Yep. Good people doing good things. That's right, man. That's you want right. good in this world, you got to give to get. Yeah, I think so, man. And, and, and the more people that a situation, you know, it's, it's good to win a race. We could pick some races that we loved winning. Um, but you didn't help anybody but yourself, right? Yeah. And so if, in a situation, if you can, if you can reach somebody um, or reach a group of people, uh, man, that, that's going to pay more dividends than, than taking a W. Yep. It truly will. We appreciate that. That's definitely true. For sure. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. And if they're, if they're not following you yet, could you give us some uh, social media handles sure. so people can follow you guys? Yeah, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, it's uh, Farm Truck in Asia. You can go to okcfarmtruck.com. That's our website. Um, but Hey, catch us on uh, Discovery Channel. We've got 16 episodes of Locals Only coming out. Um, those will be brand new. If you just finish out our Australia episode, we're just going to keep on moving forward, man. I love it. And if you guys enjoyed this podcast, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the Eat, Sleep, Raise podcast. You can follow me on my social media, at Brian ESR. Hugo ESR. Thank you, guys. Farm Truck and Asian, appreciate you. Thanks for Thank having, you. Us, Thank on. having us. Yeah. Appreciate it.